Hi everyone, my name is Colin, founder of Systematic Trader. Today, I want to share some knowledge with you. This week, I want to share three facts about the commodity markets. So let's get started. Hi everyone, today I want to share with you three things about silver prices. Okay, so before that, let's go through this economic cycle, have an understanding of economic cycles versus the stock market cycle or the market cycles. Okay, so um, let's go through it here. So in the recovery phase is where we have uh, a simulatory uh, economic policies. We have uh, confident picking up. Inflation is falling. Okay. So uh, interest rates. Okay. Uh, short term interest rates are low. Uh, yields are bottoming. Stock market start to rise. Okay. Commodity prices are rising. Also, property prices are bottoming up. Stock market leads commodity. Commodity leads property prices. Okay. Then after that, we have early upswing. That we, that's where we have increasing confidence, economic, healthy economic growth, inflation remain low, uh, short-term interest rate will be at neutral, bond yield will be stable, stock market will be strong, commodity prices will be strong, property prices will be picking up. Okay, so third part is when we have late stage, okay, late stage where we have the boom mentality, everything is going fine, inflation will start to pick up, our policy will start to be restrictive compared to over here. They will start to thinking of increasing interest rates. Okay, here the interest rate is say, uh, do not worry about interest. Okay, so then um, short term interest rate will be rising, bond yield will be rising, stock market will start to top up. Okay, when they start to increase, uh, when they become more restrictive in terms of their policies, uh, commodity will continue to rise strongly. Okay, in this part of the late stage recovery, property prices will also be rising strongly. These two are the ones that's lagging. Okay, then after that, we're going to economic slowdown. Early uh, going to recession, uh, confidence will be suddenly dropping, inflation will continue to rise, uh, inventory correction will begin. Okay, so short interest rate will pick up, bond yield will be topping, topping up, uh, stock market will be falling, commodity prices will be falling, property prices will be making a peak. Okay, so remember, property prices are always uh, lagging. Then we go into recession, um, where we have uh, confidence weak, confidence are weak, inflation is uh, picking up, inflation will be strong. And then uh, production will be falling, short term interest rate will be dropping, bond yield will be dropping. Okay, uh, stock market, which is the first to lead, okay, will be bottoming up. Then commodity prices will remain low. Uh, pro property prices will remain low. Commodity and property prices will remain low in the recession period. Okay, so this is the economic cycle. So let's take a look at the long term trend of silver. Let's go to monthly chart first. Okay, so you can see from here, this is the a boom phase okay boom phase and then this is the uh, bear phase okay or the bull phase and the bear phase so the last bear okay was actually when we had the uh, recession okay when covid was at its peak when stock market was at its bottom okay uh, in march 2020 last year okay then from then we can see that uh, silver prices has been breaking out very strongly and right now you can see from these two, these two MA we are on the uptrend. Okay, uh, even though the price is a bit far from MA, but we are nevertheless on. We are clearly on the uptrend in terms of monthly chart. In terms of weekly charts, okay, this is the bottom again in COVID. We are also um, on the uh, on also on the uptrend. Yesterday we have uh, this big drop. Okay, uh, we can see on the daily chart later. Yesterday we have this big drop, but. Uh, you can see on the weekly charts, we are still on the uptrend. Okay, so daily drop, daily price, you can see that daily price yesterday, big drop over here. Okay, but if you go into weekly charts, the weekly charts are still on up. Okay, uh, monthly charts also on up. So next thing we want to talk about. So first thing first, let's establish long term silver uptrend. Okay, in terms of the economy, we are maybe in this part. Okay, when the uh, stimulative economic policies, confidence picking up, inflation falling, commodity prices rising, okay, stock market rising, okay. Then we go into this part where we start to have healthy economic growth, inflation, uh, inflation remain low, but stock market start to be strong, commodity prices to be strong, okay. Uh, over at this part is when we start to go in, get into traction, okay. We are getting into traction right now, but uh, still takes time, okay, because you can see the, 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 the variant right are spreading right now also. Okay. Um take note that right not, not right now we are not in this boom mentality, at least not right now. Uh policies are not restrictive, restrictive. Yesterday or yesterday we had 
this uh, they have this meeting, right? They're talking about increasing interest rate only in 2023. Right now, it's only 2021, so two more years at least. Okay, and that will be like the first rise. Okay, usually they will not rise as once. Okay, they will rise a couple of times. Okay, uh, so um, so we are not in this phase right now. Okay, definitely. Okay, so but that's when commodity prices are rising strongly uh, and commodity prices and property prices are rising strongly and when top, stock markets top. So in my view, we are not at this part yet. Okay, not at this part yet. Okay, so next we're going to go and look at US dollar. Okay, US dollar versus um, versus the commodity uh, versus silver, silver prices. Okay, what's happening? What will happen to this? Okay, so let's compare uh, this with silver, silver prices. Okay, so you can see silver prices when 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 um, silver price is at the lowest. Okay, when US dollar drop, this is what the, the US dollar chart. When US dollar prices, US dollar drops, a commodity or silver prices go up. Okay, you can see from here, drop, it goes up for silver prices. When on the other hand. Uh, let's go again here. When US when US dollar drop, US dollar drop over here. Okay, US dollar drop over here. Com uh, silver prices go up. So that is the inverse relation between these two. When US dollar go up, okay. When US dollar go up, silver prices drop. Okay, US dollar go up, silver prices drop. Okay, that's something to take note. Okay, another day we can also maybe go through what's happening to the US dollar too. But today we want to focus more on silver. So we have a number one long term trend. Um, silver is a long term trend. Number two, uh, US dollar and silver has a inverse relation. Okay, inverse relation. Number three, uh, silver versus gold. Silver versus gold. Uh, Silver and gold are moving together. They have some correlation between silver and gold. When silver hits high, okay, you can see from last time, when this is a yeah, blue color is a silver, uh, orange color is gold, okay. When silver hit high, which is then gold also will hit high, okay, also will hit high. When silver hit low, okay, gold will also hit low. You can see here, silver hit low, gold will also hit low. Okay, then um, uh, this is where silver and gold hit low, and then when silver hit high, okay, gold also hit high. Okay, so something interesting happened uh, recently during uh, COVID. Okay, you can see okay uh, the low of gold, which is over here. This is the low of gold. Okay, over here that was in one five, the low of gold, and uh, there was a low of silver also over here. But when COVID happened in March uh, last year, 2020, gold was here, okay? Gold was actually quite near to all-time high, okay? In fact, it clears all-time high somewhere in July last year, 2020. But silver has been lagging, okay? Silver has been lagging that, okay? So you can see from here, silver, silver price, price is right now here. The last peak of silver was here so there is still a uh, way room to move up in terms of silver but take note in the late part of the recovery silver will start to outperform gold okay in late part of the recovery when we are talking about uh, this part okay silver may start to outperform gold okay but why, why is the difference between this because gold right is more of a store of value okay whereas silver is something that people will use okay uh, silver will be uh, is used in electric vehicle they are also used in um, what we call ICE internal combustion engine but in EV right electric vehicle uh, they are used more okay in fact for ICE compared to EV right the usage right is double 200 percent uh, more silver compared to ICE okay so on each electric vehicle they uses more silver and by now you know the push towards green energy and electric vehicle Singapore and, and uh, all, all over the world even the US okay so the first the first thing first thing for gold or demand for silver number two is also in terms of photoelectric uh, uh, solar energy they use silver in terms of economic growth like example we will go start to go into 
early up stage we all silver is something that is being used okay being used compared to gold okay, gold is more of stock value silver is some, something that's being used in the late stage when uh, inflation start to pick up okay that will be actually even more positive for silver so right now silver price uh, silver price is have not even cleared the peak of uh, gold I am bullish okay of course it's my view is I'm bullish of silver but the thing is silver go through correction you can see in the middle there will be big correction you must be able to hang on to enjoy uh, this uh, up rise rise in silver next thing is um, this cycle how long is this cycle this cycle is not a short-term cycle An average cycle from the lowest point to the lowest point is about 10.5 years 10.5 years from the lowest point to the highest point is around 9.4 years to the highest point to this low point is about 1.4 years okay so you can take this is about what, nine years this is about one one and a half years okay so just take note that um, between the up cycle and down cycle it is not in uh, equal side or equal length okay a uh, lot equal timing uh, in terms of rising usually it takes much longer falling it takes much faster okay so I hope you like this video thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe to our channel hope to see you in the next video